bad happens here. Hello? Are you there? <laughs> They're lying to you. Something bad is happening this here. Is and it's only getting system. worse. The CDC is advising that you stay in your home. We shall walk. The Sims 4 Strangerville recently released its 7th game pack, which premiered on February 26, 2019, featuring a new military career, conspiracy theory themed desert world, and a play along mystery storyline. What many might not have noticed is that there are clear references in the game to real life events that endured decades of entry, theories, and utter horror. Hey, I'm Wicked Pixel, and here are four real-life conspiracy theories you can find reference in The Sims 4 Strangerville. When playing this game, unknown government agents, aka men in black, can be seen lurking everywhere around town usually driving around in a plumber's van, outfitted with listening devices to spy and collect data on the unsuspecting population or around your house stalking your every move. However, in real life, on June 27, 1947, several UFOs were spotted hovering above a man and his son and their dog out fishing in Puget Sound, Washington State. As the UFOs hovered above the metallic debris started to fall hitting them and ultimately killing their dog. After taking pictures of this and sharing it around town the next day, they were visited by the Men in Black. These Men in Black claimed to know a great deal about the incident and warned the victims not to speak about the event any further. This basically launched theories about who or what the Men in Black were and that whenever there's a legit UFO sighting, expect a surprise visit from them in an effort to keep you quiet. It seems their job is to prevent the spread of UFO confirmation through intimidation. Strangerville's version of Area 51 is a secret lab built in a crater. In the game, the lab is abandoned, filled with clues to help players solve the mystery, and of course contains a very deadly mother of who knows what from who knows where. Whatever it is, it's definitely a disaster of a failed experiment, wreaking havoc and infecting all those it comes in contact with in Strangerville. But Area 51 is indeed a real place that the average citizen can drive up to, but can never cross or enter after a certain point, otherwise face incredible legal problems and possible death. Located in the Nevada desert and owned by the federal government, this is actually an Air Force base. But that's where all normal references end and we journey into the real mother of all conspiracies. In fact, the official purpose of the facility is not known and believed to carry out black projects. Top secret endeavors the public will know nothing about until they deem fit for you to know. It is this secretly that surely fuels hundreds of theories around what is going on in there. And what people think is going on is that the Black Projects secure UFO ships that crash to the Earth, imprison and experiment on the occup occupants of those ships, aliens, and unlock alien technology to get an upper hand in the fight of domination between powerful countries and world powers. These technologies include time travel, weather control, and even exotic aircrafts. Here we have one of the most obvious references as there is a pre-made family Ted and Meredith Roswell living in Strangerville. Ted Roswell's career is listed as unemployed but just so happens to be the mayor of Strangerville and has made some incredibly wonky deals with a certain secret lab. Although it's clear this is a nod to the real life conspiracy theory around Roswell, New Mexico. What truly connects The Sims 4 Strangerville to this event is the crater. In June 1947, which seemed to be the year of the UFO, William Brazel noticed clusters of debris in Roswell, New Mexico. He claimed that he and his son saw a large area of bright wreckage made up of rubber strips, tinfoil, and rather tough paper and sticks. He paid little attention to it but returned on July the 4th with his son, wife, and daughter to gather up the material. 
The next day, Brazel heard reports about flying discs and wondered if that was what he had picked up. By July 6th, Brazel went back where even more pieces were picked up, this time accompanied by officials from the Air Force. On July 8, 1947, a press release was issued stating the recovery of an actual flying disc or UFO. This was the official release at first, however, this was later retracted and claimed to be a weather balloon. Years passed without anyone giving much more thought to that event until the late 70s where hundreds of people connected to the incident finally started telling a different version of events, that the debris was actually from a crashed UFO where alien bodies were recovered. They claim the government is covering this up. This also gave credence to the idea that these bodies and possi possible alien survivors were experimented on, expanding to the now infamous alien aut autopsy video. The questions we are left with from the Roswell UFO crash is ultimately, what new technologies and secrets were they able to uncover uncover from these aliens and will we all end up infected with some mysterious condition like some of the residents in Strangerville The Sims 4 used a unique but very effective marketing technique to tease and promote Strangerville with the sim gurus employing Twitter to tweet out a series of clues and mysterious images, initially it was thought that this would be some sort of supernatural release or something to do with zombies. But it was later confirmed not to be zombies, but rather an infection that can control the mind of sims. This concept is not entirely fiction or just video game content. In fact, the real life CIA conducted a program meant to accomplish this very idea, to control the minds of real people. The CIA actually conducted outrageous and illegal experiments on unsuspected people. The goal of this program was to develop drugs and procedures to be used in interrogations in order to weaken the individual and force confessions through mind control. The means by which the CIA carried out these experiments included the use of over 80 institutions, including colleges, universities, hospitals, prisons, and pharmaceutical companies. It often conducted experiments without the subject's knowledge or consent in some cases. Academic researchers were funded through grants from CIA front organizations, but were unaware that the CIA was using their work for these purposes. The project attempted to produce a perfect truth drug for interrogating suspected Soviet spies during the Cold War and to, express, to explore other possibilities of mind control. Subproject 54 was the Navy's top secret perfect concussion program which was supposed to use suboral frequency blasts to erase memory. The Sims 4 Strangerville is derived from a previous installment of The Sims 2 called Strangetown, but you can find that it also has a lot in common with the Netflix original show Stranger Things. In the show, one of the institutions to undertake the MK Ultra project was Hawkins National Laboratory, which is where Eleven was experimented on for her mind control abilities. So the next time you start to play The Sims 4 Strangerville, you'll no doubt see this new world in a brand new horrifying light. That'll do it for this video. I hope you like this somewhat experimental take on The Sims 4. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more videos in the future. One quick, uh, quick reminder, Credits for the source content is loca located in the description and be aware that some of the commentary is directly quoted and or paraphrased from that content. Take care. Yes.